All right, so these lights have been on, I don't know, maybe three months, 100% uh, white, uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and I have not had any problems with them. All right, maybe one. Hi, welcome to Canna Spader Christmas. This video has been a long time in the making. Um, I actually started it last year. In fact, what happened was, you know, I set up the display last year, everything was going fine. And then I started getting questions in uh, on, on YouTube saying, uh, you know, what do you think about all the pixels that are catching on fire and everything? And I was like, what? And so I had to do some research and find out. Um, so a, a notable person had a pixel catch on fire. I have not ever had a pixel catch on fire. Some people have had them, you know, and it melts the pixel, but that's it. Uh, this particular incident, there was, um, the pixels were in some coro and the coro caught fire and this was up on a roof and uh, so the fire department had to come out and, and you know, it was kind of a, a thing. And, and uh, everybody was fine, but it, you know, and, and the house didn't burn down and all that kind of stuff, but it, it got everybody kind of concerned, kind of thinking about what was going on. And, and so I thought, well, you know, I bought some pixels last year and they, you know, they were the new kind, the regulated kind. So maybe I can put some experiments together. So I actually went out uh, and <laughs> justified purchasing one of these. All right, now I have seen videos where people get these new uh, cameras and they show you a bunch of stupid pictures. I'm not gonna do that. But if you don't know what this camera does, it's an infrared camera. And so it senses heat versus taking beautiful pictures. Uh, and, and so they use this a lot. Uh, for example, if you're, if you work in the electrical, you know, uh, wiring industry, um, you can point the camera at a, a breaker panel and you can see if anything is hot and then that will alert you to some sort of problem. Really anywhere where you need to judge uh, difference between heat uh, or you want to be able to see heat that's what you would use so to, you know to give you an example and, and I'm really just showing you an example here um, so here's a picture of Emmy and uh, Sadie while on our walk and and here's another picture and you notice that Emmy is a little bit brighter or more orange than Sadie. Well, Sadie has longer hair than, than Emmy does. And so, so Emmy is showing up uh, a little bit brighter. Here's Lexi where she stopped to smell something. And uh, here, well, here's another picture of Lexi where she stopped to, to smell something. This one, you know, it's kind of hard to get, <laughs> hard to get these shots when you got three dogs pulling on you. And so it's a little blurry. I apologize for that. Um, here is a shot of the car before I went to the to the uh, the convenience store, and here's the shot of the car after I came back from the convenience store. So you can see the little difference. You know, you can see where there's some hot spots that are showing up in the picture. Uh, here's a picture of some freshly minted poop. Yeah, I just really kind of threw that in there because I, I thought it was kind of interesting looking. Anyway. So I set up a, uh, a set of new pixels and a set of old pixels. So these pixels, the old pixels are probably three years old or more. And then I got a brand new set of pixels that I got this year. Um, I connected them up to a, a differential receiver, put it out in the yard so that if there was any problems, they could you know, burn to their heart's content and, and nothing would really get uh, damaged by them. Well, maybe the little gazebo that I hung them in, but um, 
So, fired them up. Uh, got the, uh, I have an F-16 that was connected to that differential receiver and I just ran uh, a couple of different patterns and then took pictures with the infrared camera. So as you, you know, I started out like, you know, 30% or something like that and then went up to 50% and then 70% and then a hundred percent. And, and yeah, I mean, you could see where they're, they're heating up, which is normal. I mean, you know, these aren't really drastic heat differences uh, and it was cold out when I took these. So it was, you know, about, uh, I, I don't remember what it was, was it 30 degrees or 50 degrees or something like that. And then the pixels themselves were probably about 70 degrees. So, you know, there's a little bit of heating, but that's to be expected. There really wasn't a big, um, you know, anything that, that got really, really bright and too hot to touch or anything like that. And then I said that, you know, this, this color wash just isn't doing the job. So then I kicked it up a notch and I went all white. So it's all three LEDs on. That's the hottest it's going to get. Uh, again, I ramped it up. So I started out at 30%. I went to 50, went to 70, uh, then, then up to a hundred and just let it sit there all white, you know, no, no dimming or anything like that at a hundred percent and, and still no big deal. So then I I'd said, well, okay, well this isn't burning or anything. So I must have a good set of pixels. And so I have been running a color pattern because Kathy, you know, likes having lights out there that are changing colors in, in, in our backyard. Uh, when she sits out there. So um, uh, I've been running them for hours every day and none of them have burned up. So realistically, it's it's been inconclusive, but I got an infrared camera. Consequently, after I ran this test, I found out that we're talking about bullet pixels and not the square pixels. So inconclusive on that test. So then, I said, all right, well, you know, I'll get, I'll get some, some bullet pixels and try those. Cause I'd also purchase some bullet pixels. And I ran that same test um, and pretty much had the same results um, there. You know, the, the, you could see some, some heating, which is normal. There are components in there that do heat up, but it, nothing excessive. Apparently the bullet pixels that I got were fine test was inconclusive. But that doesn't make for a very good video and it really doesn't justify the purchase of this camera. So I thought, well, what can I do to show something that I know is going to be different that I can actually show on camera? Five volt pixels versus 12 volt pixels. With 12 volt pixels, you get a lot more heat dissipation because they're basically five volt pixels running at 12 volts. So the rest of, you know, a lot of it is heat that, that comes off of there. So perfect example of what happens with the difference between 5 volt pixels and 12 volt pixels. Purchase justified. Now during the making of the, or, you know, the, the time lapse in between uh, now and, and when I started making this video, there was an existentials discussion that I think everybody should see. Um, I will link it in the description below, but if you are just looking it up, it's X Essentials S4E2 Pixel Survey Report. And uh, a couple of the folks did a lot of research um, and, and really kind of lay out uh, everything they went through, everything they discovered, and essentially the conclusion was it, it was kind of a bad batch. And so people that had problems, was all from this one batch that, that had bad components in it. It's not a systemic issue. It's not a, uh, you know, something that, that all pixels are capable. Well, I guess they're all capable of doing it, but, but not all pixels exhibit this. And like I say, I've never had one, uh, burn up. Um, another thing that this did is it got the Coro manufacturers to start adding flame retardant to their Coro. And, and there's actually, um, an example that, Boscoyo did, and I, if I can find that video that he did, then, then I'll also link that in the description below. Um, and basically, 
Uh, he had two strips of Coro. One of them was the old kind. He lit it on fire and it stayed lit. Uh, the new one, he lit it on fire and it melted, but as soon as he took the fire away, it went out. So that's incorporated in all his products now. And so just some added safety for your peace of mind. Um, there's also a website, and they do talk about this in the uh, Existentials Report, and that website is pixel.report. And so uh, wh what that's kind of designed to do is if, um, if you have problems with your pixels and, and not so much, you know, they're flickering or it could be, but um, like a lot of the square pixels that I got this year had a uh, water leakage problem and so water would get into them they would do what they pixels do when they get water in them and that's they'd, they'd flash random colors and um, uh, so I had that with my square pixels this year but but the bullet pixels worked fine uh, mine did anyway and and so really what this website is designed to do is catch problems that people are having if a bad batch does go out we can kind of rally everyone around that uh, kind of get the word out and, and contact the manufacturer and find out what's what's going on so that we can you know kind of nip it in the bud as soon as we can and I'll put a link to that website in the description as well I hope you got some good information out of that if you have any questions you can leave them below other than that thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon now I shot an email I got six of these, and so they, I got five of these. I am your father.